Finally, there's some guns that I really wanted to touch, and here's one of them, the Triss Vector. If you're new to the channel, I did a video in German. Check it out. As always, the guns are unloaded and safe. Now we can begin. So Chris Vector, manufactured here in the US by Chris Vector. One of the unique guns you can see in a lot of movies and be it the chassis for um, cables gun in Deadpool 2 or Total Recall, wherever you can see like movies that happen in the future, there's always someone who runs around with a Chris Vector. Why? Look at it. It looks crazy. It looks like a space gun. So huge shout out to Vienna Arsenal and to Bravo 06 for having me and letting me film here. Also, one of our sponsors that outfit me is techmerch.com. If you want some shirts like this or this, you should visit it. And also we have tactical merchandise for women. This gun has some special features that we talk about in a minute. But first off, let's give you some data. You can get the gun in four different calibers, in 9mm, in 40 Smith & Wesson, 44, uh, 45 ACP or 10mm. The overall length is 38.25 inches, the weight is 8 pounds. There's magazines with 17 rounds or you can feed them with these Glock adapters and you have 40 rounds. I mean, there's no questions, um, no doubt about it. I will go with that. What is, I mean, 17 rounds. The barrel length is 16 inches and you can get this for about $1,500. In here we have a closed bolt system and the special thing about it, the name is crazy and hard to say, it's the Bolt Super V Recoil Mitigation System. That's in here. So, what does it say? You can look it up. Um, there's the bolt not going backwards to your gun. It's going downwards. That's where the V comes from. That's where the less recoil comes from. Um, that's the system they invented for especially this gun. And I can't wait to shoot it. All right, guys. Let's go out on the range and see what the Chris Vector is really capable of. So about the Chris Vector, the weight issue kind of disappears as soon as you shoulder it, but by holding it with one hand, you can feel it's way too heavy in the front. The 44 and 45 round mags would be a, a lot better than 10 rounds. Um, 10 rounds are just nothing inside this gun. The low recoil absolutely is amazing. Um, the system really does, does a huge difference. The only thing that I didn't like was the charging handle. It feels kind of weird and all the buttons are just way too much. Maybe I was tired, I don't know, but this kind of, yeah, it felt weird to me. 